Well, hello everybody. Have you noticed that there's a whole lot of shaking going on in this world? Every day it just seems like, you know, we're hearing even more intense news reports of wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes and and all kinds of disasters, you know, hurricanes and earthquakes and everything else that Jesus warned us about. And then on top of all of that, such great, great spiritual deception that has just infiltrated the body of Christ today. You know, the wickedness that's in our nation today is just unimaginable. I can't even think, you know, like 20 years ago, 30 years ago, nobody would have ever guessed that our culture and our society could go to such a low level and degree of debauchery, wickedness, sin, immorality, ungodliness, you name it. And that's exactly where we are today. There's a whole lot of shaking going on. And the Bible says that God is going to shake everything that can be shaken. And so that does not alarm me. It makes me recognize, you know, the need to pray. Because in that shaking, there's going to be much devastation. There's going to be much uh, sorrow of heart. In fact, in Matthew chapter 24, <clears throat> Jesus made it very clear as he mentioned some of the things that we need to look for concerning his return again. And he talked about that, didn't he? He talked about the earthquakes and the wars and, and all of the other things, the famines and pestilences and things like that and deception. And he said, these are the beginning of sorrows. This is the beginning of birth pains, so to speak, of what is coming. And so we need to be very much aware of that as the body of Christ. We need to set ourselves to praying. We need to get ourselves alone with God uh, in intercession. We need to get together with a prayer group of our church. We need to attend the prayer meetings. We need to revive the prayer meetings and churches that have stopped meeting together for prayer. And it doesn't matter if you pray on Zoom. It doesn't matter if you pray uh, online. It doesn't matter if you pray in person. But pray. Pray. Join together. Unite together in the prayer of agreement. Because there's tremendous power. The Bible says that one shall put a thousand to flight. Two shall put ten thousand to flight. So as you gather together to pray, there is tremendous power. Because the effectual fervent prayer of God's righteous people still avails much today. Glory to God. Don't let the devil lie to you and say that God doesn't hear your prayers. He doesn't answer your prayers. Your prayers aren't working. Your prayers are not powerful. You might as well not even bother. That's a lie from hell because the devil knows that prayer is what brings victory. Prayer is what brings deliverance to the captives that he has bound and on their way to hell. And so you and I can stand in the gap even today. Even though we see our nations deteriorating around us, America, Canada, and even other nations of the world, even though we see this world spinning out of control, we can pray glory to God. Because even though there's a shaking going on, as the Bible says, that God's going to shake everything that can be shaken, but what? But the things that cannot be shaken are the things that are going to remain. Hey, here's the breaking news. The church cannot be shaken, glory to God. We are remaining. We are a force. We are an influence still in this world for spiritual righteousness, and, and for, the, for godliness in our culture, in our nation, in our homes, in the streets, and every other area of society. We are a force. We are a light shining in the darkness. We are the salt of the earth. And as we pray, that essence of Christ begins to flow out of us and changes the very atmosphere where we are. That's the power and the influence of the body of Christ in our nation today. And so I want to encourage you, keep on praying. Don't be discouraged. Don't be downcast. David said, why are you downcast, O my soul? But what did he say after that? He prayed, hope in God. <laughs> hope in God. Our hope is in the Lord. Hope is more than just a, you know, well, we wish it comes to pass. We, we, we're not sure, you know, maybe it'll happen. No, hope is a steadfast assurance of things that are, the evidence of things that are yet to come, glory to God, right? That's what hope is, joined with our faith, joined with our love for the, for the people in this world, our love for one another. That is what's going to secure us and anchor us in this time of shaking, hallelujah. While everything else is falling apart around us, the church of Jesus Christ is rising up in unity 
and in tremendous authority and power in the Holy Ghost. We are a force to be reckoned with, and the enemy knows that, and he's, he, and he's pulling all stops in this battle that we are engaged in, this spiritual warfare. But church, the good news is that we win, hallelujah. We've already won, we've already attained the victory, amen. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith in the time of shaking, amen. Amen. So don't be discouraged. Lift up your eyes unto the hills from whence comes our help. Our help is in the name of the Lord. God bless you. This is Pastor Mike. Bye-bye for now.